so we're about to go dumpster diving. We're gonna check some Ultas, some Kirklands, whatever we can get lucky at. I'm so excited. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoy the video, leave me a like. It helps me out so much. And also leave me a comment. I love reading all of your comments. Even if I can't get to all of you guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Glamour D Dive and Real Godzilla. And subscribe to my boyfriend on YouTube. He made a channel and we just found like a crazy high-end clothing haul from dumpster diving. So don't forget to check that out. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, this is Ulta. I've got like these big purple gloves and looks like there's a couple bags to go through. This one might have hit the bottom stuff, but that's okay. Oh, this one's really heavy. I see James Charles. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just put this in the car. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Let me open it, peek inside. Oh, I see. Okay, I see the boxes. A couple different boxes. Oh, I see a pallet. Let's see. Ooh, it is messy. Let's open it up before it falls. Ooh! Okay, okay. So this one might be a good bag. I'm just gonna take this whole thing, put it in the car, and we'll go through it. Okay, so I found a nice little spot. The bag completely broke. It was so heavy. But this is a James Charles palette, and it's not too bad, it's not too messy. I see some swatches on it, like these shades, but honestly, it looks pretty new. I'm surprised, like, this is one of my good Ultas that are not too bad at destroying stuff, so I'm happy about that, that's exciting. Let's see what else. Let's see. Okay, these are just some boxes. Oh, oh, okay, a Morphe palette. Let's see, which one is it? Artistry palette. Let's open it. I'm getting it kind of dirty in the grass, honestly, though. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to like play with this a little bit, but this one's not bad either. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, I see another Morphe palette. Okay, it's another James Charles palette. Uh, let's open it. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, this is like the same deal. It's not bad, not like, it's a little bit swatched up, but they did not like purposely destroy it and scrape it out. So we have three palettes so far. Anything else? No, on to the messy stuff. Ooh. I feel something. Let's see. Let's see. Inside, there's only one brush. I think this is the James Charles brush set. I only see one brush. Let's see. Oh, no, actually, wait. Okay, they're in the packaging. They're really dirty on the outside. Let's see another brush. Let's see if the whole set's here. Let's see a lot of skincare. So, I oh no. Okay, here it is. Is that all of them? I don't know how many are in this set. That's so exciting. Let's see what else there is. It looks like they did get to this stuff. Oh, this is still full. It's a misting toner. So I have a couple things to go through with this one. Some empty stuff. But you can see like a lot of these are still like you're able to use still because they did not completely break the pumps off. Ooh. Hey guys, I'm at Ulta and there are a bunch of things, a lot of people are around so it's loud, but there are so many like returns or like damaged items. I see a bunch of these curling things so I'm going to grab them and I see some brushes maybe. I'm going to grab whatever I see and grab it. Hey guys, really hot out and sweating. It's like 92, but I found these three which are baby bliss and they're like steam curling irons so they did cut the cords on everything which i have i have the cords i didn't cut them too low and i also found a bunch of these paul mitchell straightening irons which these look like pretty heavy duty ones as well 
So I can definitely fix these up. I have a bunch of junk in my car, but I have to clear it out. I have all of the clothes right here. So I got a pretty cool little score from Ulta with this stuff. Hey guys, so I am back with my haul from Ulta and I got a bunch of skincare items out of some of the return boxes and such and then three palettes which I am so excited. I cleaned them up and I am ready to show you guys what they look like on the inside. First one is the James Charles palette which is really great condition. A couple swatches but other than that not too bad as well as the second one this one as well it has a couple of swatches but they did not scrape it or destroy it in any way so i'm so excited about these and then i also found a different morphe palette which is an artistry palette this is my all-time favorite find it is so cool and so neat this one is like full of like pink shades, purples, which I adore, so I love this palette so much. Probably gonna keep this one for myself. It's not too bad. Um, I do see a couple of swatches, but again, they did not scrape it or destroy it. So, this was amazing for me to find. I was so excited. I found the James Charles brush set, which... I think it has all of the brushes. I don't know how many come in the set, but it has 13 brushes. So let me guys let me know if you guys know how many are in here and if that's the right number. But either way, so cool, huge. Like I know these are expensive. Like I haven't been able to buy them for myself, so I will be getting some use out of these. And most of them were wrapped up, however, like, they were in a soup bag, and I had to clean all of them because the soup went through the packaging. But that's okay, no biggie, they're still in really great condition. I also got this really cool sport of different products. A lot of them are Kate Somerville, and this one is a liquid lifting cream, so I guess it just, like, squirts out. This one is a liquid lift with retinol, and it has like, it's missing the pump, but it's the same one as this, so I can just replace them as I need to. I found a Firm X, this is for like eye cream, hydrating mist toner, hydrating mist toner with like rose in it, it smells so good, I already sprayed it. Bedhead, mini hardhead, it's a hairspray and it's just like a little mini one. A oh this is a face mask which is an acne treatment, which I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'm always up for a new face mask. And then this is a another acne treatment. This is just like a cream. This one's like a spray bottle, but it's a it's like a setting spray with a high SPF in it, which is really cool. This one is actually like brand new, it's still in the wrapper, and it's a Revolution liquid highlighter, and it's just like the drops, but it's still in the packaging, not even opened yet. Peter Thomas Roth, this is a, another spray, and this one is just like hydrating, moisturizing, it's a toner mist. And then lastly, I found this, which is a coffee scrub. And it was open, but it's like pretty full, I can feel it. And I think these are kind of expensive, a little bit pricey for like a, a scrub. <laughs> so this is also really cool to find. Okay guys, so I also found a bunch of brushes. These I guess were like real technique sets, or I mean eco tool sets. And I just cleaned all of them off and I have them drying and I also found like a bunch of sponges that came with them so all of this is so cool to find okay guys this is the TJ Maxx Crusher and as you can see like there's a bunch of things out of it and I already looked for like really quick and I found a couple of things I found like this box 
which is so cute. And then a Xbox One game. Calendar 2020 sports calendar, that's cool. Oh, I see another Xbox game. Here's another one. Just make a little pile. Okay guys, I'm back at the TJ Maxx and I just found like some skincare brand new in the box. I'll show you guys that in one second. But as you can see, it's still broken. It's hard to like really see, but some things have fallen out. So I'm gonna check out if there's anything good. Like right here, <laughs> the packaging is completely destroyed, but there's a Too Faced white peach palette. Just a couple of things in here. There's also a straightener iron, so I'm going to take them out of the boxes. I'm seeing some makeup broken. I'll let you guys see. Let me take this out. I just found this straightener and no cut cord. Or I mean not straightener, curling iron. I think I've been saying that the whole time. Still in the packaging. And then this, which looks like it might be broken. Let's see how bad. Ooh. Okay, it has some shades. It's very new completely shattered mirror. Let's see what else I can find. Care kit I found $54 still in the box. It's taped up. The packaging is obviously messed up but some cool makeup skincare things. Okay there's a little kids polo shirt which still has the tags. I found some more. I found another one of these. This is a $25 kit and a hand wash without a cap. A, a little jade roller. Okay guys, so I found a couple items from TJ Maxx and this was from like their Crusher. I found two of these Dr. Jar Tea or Jar Tea Plus kits. I'm probably saying that wrong. You guys always correct me. But it looks like these were from Christmas or something. And it comes with a bunch of items, which I'm excited to look at and open up. So I found those. Then I found a couple of hand washes. This one is a lemon, and then this one is a lavender and white tea. And then I found one little palette, which is the white peach palette. And some of the shades broke on it, so let me open it up and show you. So this is what it looks like. Some of the shades are broken and then the mirror is broken as well. But I think actually only one of the shades, two of the shades, it's two of the shades that are broken. A lot of use left in that. I also found a Hot Tools curling iron. It's kind of hard to show you guys like this, but it's just like the Hot Pink Hot Tools curling iron, which is so cool. The cord is not cut on it. I found this jade roller and a little Milani palette which is broken as well and then I found this kids polo shirt which I kind of showed you most of this already but so cute it's like a little kids little boys polo and lastly if you guys can see it okay it's a dress but it's a women's dress which was actually a high-end one. They were selling it for $9.99. I think it is, let's see, Theory? So this is like more of a professional dress, but I don't know what's wrong with it. It does have this thing on it still. So this is what it looks like. Okay guys, I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond and they threw so many pots out. They spray painted them. They're really hot, so I'm gonna get some gloves on and try and grab them they are cast iron round skillets but i'm seeing some other stuff as well so let's see i see some coffee let's see what we can get I pulled a few out they're super hot and they'll burn my leathers so i'm gonna fit as many as i can into the trunk and see what else is here 